10 Most Expensive Cars in History These cars are like fine wine. They get more expensive with the years. Only those with vast fortunes can get their hands on them. Want to know which ones they are? Fasten your seatbelt and watch this video. Number 10. 1956 Jaguar D-Type It's impossible to deny that the Jaguar D-Type is one of the most outstanding racing cars. However, the 1956 version takes the spotlight today, especially because it was sold for $21,078,000, thus becoming the priciest British vehicle ever sold. Although it doesn't go underwater like James Bond's car. This machine also has a great story behind it, as it won the Le Mans in 1956. It even keeps the traditional colors of the Scottish motor racing team Acura Ecosse, the same colors it wore when achieving victory. Number 9. 1956 Aston Martin DBR1 More than the model of a luxury brand, the DBR1 was the first to be manufactured at the Gaden factory in Germany back in 1956. Over half a century later, this car has just been sold for a total of $22,550,000, which makes it the most expensive British vehicle ever auctioned. Brilliant! It reminds me of the hunt! Although only five units were made, this is the first to be sold at an auction. But the story doesn't end there. This same fabulous vehicle was driven by Sterling Moss to achieve victory at the Nürburgring 1000 km race. Number 8. 1967 Ferrari 275 GTS 4 Nart Spider. I present to you a movie legend that became famous thanks to Steve McQueen upon appearing in the Thomas Crown Affair film. Tommy, for God's sakes, come on, we're late as it is. All right, Sandy. Is that one of those red Italian things? One of those red Italian. Its origin took place after the Italian racing driver and car importer Luigi Cinetti stated that the American market regarding convertibles was quite different from the European. In the end, Cinetti convinced Enzo Ferrari to build a series of this new model. However, only 10 out of the 25 models meant to be sold were made, and just one remained in Europe. In 2013, one of these wonders was sold for $25 million. It's certainly a high price, but quite fair for a legendary relic. Number 7. 1964 Ferrari 275 GTP Competizione Speciale Ferrari is one of the few brands that has a special place in the heart of luxury car collectors. That's why it's impossible not to include the 1964 Ferrari 275 GTB C Special, which is considered the holy grail of the brand for its rarity. It's more beautiful than I'd ever imagined. Not to mention that it's the first of only three Berlinetta Competition vehicles built by Ferrari for high-level endurance races, so it shouldn't surprise anyone that it was sold for $26,400,000. With six carburetors, one for every two cylinders, this machine produced 330 horsepower, which made it a mechanical beast. It appears that just like the other two models, this car will be part of a private collection to be stored as the gem it is. Number 6. 1956 Ferrari 290 MM Since its creation, the 1956 Ferrari 290 MM had a single goal, to race at the Milli Miglia Rally in Italy that year and win it. As if it were a premonition, that's exactly what happened, and Ferrari was crowned the tournament champion after it completed the 992-mile distance. The winning car was driven by Eugenio Castellotti while another, driven by Juan Manuel Fangio, finished in a respectable fourth place. This latter vehicle, full of history and a 3.5-liter 12-cylinder engine with 320 horsepower, was sold for $28 million in 2015. At the time, this was the third highest price paid for a car at an auction. Sorry for those who couldn't buy it. Number 5. 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196 Silver Aero The German brand Mercedes-Benz has always been characterized for being exclusive and fast on the racing track. So don't be surprised to know that the classic 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196 Silver Aero model was auctioned for $31 million. I know, it's the same model that led Argentine driver Juan Manuel Fangio to victory at the 1954 German and Swiss Grand Prix. 
Fangio described it as every driver's dream due to its 290 horsepower. It's beautiful. This model was built exclusively to win Formula One championships and, in fact, it won 9 of 12 Grand Prix it raced on the track. Without a doubt, the W196 Silver Arrow is one of the most successful models that has ever existed. Number 4. 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO Have you ever heard of Sterling Moss? He's famous for being the greatest driver who never won a world championship. If you wonder why that's relevant, well, this powerful classic unit is named after him. It's known as the Sterling Moss's 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO, since it was designed exclusively for him. The irony is that he never got to drive it. What? An accident behind the wheel of a Lotus at Goodwood stopped him from doing so. However, this only fueled the legend of the car. Since it has all that history behind it and the fact that only 39 units of this model were built, this machine is now a precious gem that every collector desires to own. Someone had this very clear and paid around $35 million at an auction in 2012. After all, who wouldn't like to have this historic beauty in their garage? Number 3. 1957 Ferrari 335 S Spider Scaglietti The 335S Spider Scaglietti is not just any Ferrari. It was driven by big stars such as Sterling Moss, Von Trips, and Mike Hawthorne. However, what actually makes it a valuable acquisition is that only four were made in total. That's right, there's only four of these wonders on wheels worldwide, and one of them was sold for $35,711,000 in 2016. Since 1970, this unit belonged to the Bardenon Collection, who was the biggest Ferrari collector. Moreover, this same model was used to win the 1958 Cuban Grand Prix. Certainly, this Ferrari model is a true piece of history and an overall work of art. Number 2. 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO Berlinetta Not all cars of this model were used in professional races. Some belonged to a single owner for years and were driven in private races. Such is the case of this 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO Berlinetta which belonged to a single anonymous family for 49 years since 1965. This vehicle was auctioned in 2014 for $38,100,000 at the Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance exhibition in California. At that time, this price broke the world record for any car ever sold at an auction. It's said that this version was the 19th to be manufactured and sent to French driver Joe Schlesher to compete with French ski champion Henri Orlier in the 1962 Tour de France. Unfortunately, Orel had a fatal accident in this vehicle. This classic was repaired and then sold to the son of a wealthy family. Do you think it's cursed? Would you drive it? Number 1. 1963 Ferrari 250 GTO this machine could have easily been the fastest in the Speed Racer TV show. I'm talking about the 1963 Ferrari 250 GTO. Its output is 300 horsepower and is powered by its 12-cylinder engine. Besides, it's also a symbol of the 60s. In 2013, one of the models that belonged to car collector Paul Paparlado was sold for $52 million becoming the highest price ever paid for a vehicle back then. However, these machines are motor racing gems, especially this model, since only 34 units were made. So no one was surprised when another car of the same model was sold for $70 million in 2018. The buyer was David McNeil, founder and CEO of the American company WeatherTech. With this purchase, it went down in the history of Guinness records as the most expensive car. Without a doubt, Ferrari is not only the king on the racetrack, but also at auctions, and it doesn't look like this will change. That was fun. Wouldn't you like to take any of these cars home? Tell me which one in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss another interesting video.